Hello, my name is Shelly. I am the owner of Horseshoe Pottery, and I thought that I would show you guys how to make little spoon rests, just like this guy here. And so yeah, th these are tips and tricks um, that work for me. Um, this is, you know, definitely not a channel run by a person who has gone to university for um, ceramics. I <clears throat> I took a course um, at a local pottery shop um, and completely fell in love with it. So this is the kind of information that I myself watched YouTube videos, um, spoke to other potters. And I just have a just a round back for this. Um, it is uh, nothing fancy. I prefer using a bat over throwing off the wheel head. Um, it's just something I prefer to do. You don't have to do it yourself. Um, but with these guys, with the spoon rest, um, what I do is uh, I let it get to almost the leather hard stage uh, before I wire it off. And the reason why I do that is um, because I do flip it over to trim the edges a little bit. I don't normally do a foot ring on it, but if you want to, if you don't have like a support underneath, it can kind of uh, bow um, that causes uh, or can cause cracking. Um, but yeah, anyways, so this is um, my way. And if it helps you, that's fantastic. If it doesn't help you, you don't have to do it. <laughs> um, so I always use a wet sponge, turn the wheel head, and make a circle. And then that tells me where the center of the um, bat is. Again, these are things that, that I do that help me. You might find all of it helpful. One of the tips helpful, you might find none of it helpful. Either way, I appreciate you watching. So I'm just centering. I like to um, clean my hands after I have um, centered uh, to get the excess slip off. This guy here is a stainless steel rolling pin. It has these little rings, um, so you can gauge the thickness. Is I always make sure that the, the bat is clean. I do this at full speed of the wheel, and I make sure that there's a lot of water, and then you push down so your hands are steady. I have my arms uh, resting on my legs, my elbows are tucked in, and again, water is key. So you just press until you start to kind of feel a bit of uh, resistance. And so if you, uh, I don't know if you can see, but this is quite dry now. So water is key, like I say. Just keep going, and yeah, it's getting, you can feel the resistance, it starts to kind of pull away from you. Um, if you continue uh, pushing down without re-wetting, it will cause it to jump like that. Um, so if that happens, what I do is slow it down. press hard, that usually corrects the, uh, the issue. So I'm done with that. It's, it's flat. The edges are kind of wobbly, like there's a bump here. So what I do is I trim it with my trim tool so that it's perfectly circular. Uh, again, water helps. So I, I was taught to uh, dip your tools 
into water. I do it with my pin tool, wooden knife, which you'll see me use in a second. Again, that might help you if it doesn't. Continue doing however you, um, whatever you do. It's completely up to you how you, uh, how you use your tools. But if you notice anything that I do that helps, that's fantastic. That's what I'm here for. This is, uh, for me, this is just fun. Um, uh, it's definitely not anything super serious. I don't even know if anybody will see these videos that I'm going to make. But if you do, and if you like it, uh, you can subscribe, um, like, um, share. It helps for other people to see the videos. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a underglaze transfer onto the clay as it is. Uh, what you really wanna do is make sure there's no excess water so I rib it so that it is, it gets, you know, the excess slip off of it. <clears throat> if you don't, if you add it straight, um, depending on how wet the surface is, it can smudge and smear the transfer when you pull it off. So it doesn't have to be the perfect size because what I do is, uh, I clean this the this edge off. So my sponge is nice and clean, and I am wringing wringing it out so that it is is barely wet. Um, dry your hands off as well, and I just place it on again because I'm going to be taking the outer edge off. It doesn't matter if it fits perfectly or not. So I'm just stick that transfer down with your not so wet sponge, dry almost, that you have to go over it a bit. Um, I can see right here that it's not sticking well. So if you just keep wiping so now it looks like it is uh, sticking pretty good so again with your rib you can rib it on some people call it burnishing And then we can see how it looks. So it's looking pretty good. If there's uh, any uh, black um, that's not sticking, you can put it down, give it a little rub, and it, uh, it typically comes on. When the clay is, um, I think it's still got a lot of moisture in it, these transfers stay, um, they go on fairly well. I'm just seeing a little tiny bit right here. I'm just gonna give that guy a little rub. But yeah, because the clay is um, still quite, it's got still quite a lot of moisture in it. That's better. Um, it uh, it tends to, to go on a lot easier than when it's, um, uh, like leather hard, or I know some people put uh, underglaze transfers on a bisque. I prefer to do it when it's leather hard. Um, I just find that that um, that little bit of extra moisture, it just keeps it, uh, it just makes it a, a bit easier for it to, uh, to go on. So now that my little picture's on there, a little transfer, I am going to, I'm just gonna, um, scrape it off a bit with the uh, wooden tool. Um, like I said, I wet all of my tools before using, um, but what you don't want is for it to be drippy like that. Um, because if you drip water onto this transfer now, um, there's 
a likelihood that it will smear. So I just carefully scrape it off a bit and then it kind of smudges like so. Oh, then I grab my sponge. This is my throwing sponge. It works really well for this. Um, again, you don't want it to be dripping wet, um, but you don't want it to be as dry as when you apply the, the transfer. Um, so I'll see it's just coming up. Just to kind of wipe it all up. And then use my red rib. This rib is very flexible, so um, with throwing, you can curve it when you're cleaning the uh, slip off the outside of the vessel. You can use it to form your vessel. So it's still a little bit smudged, so I'm just going to do a little bit more here. And just, you know, being gentle with it. Not pressing very hard because this is the rim of your spoon rest. So it's not too bad. If there is like a little stubborn spot or if you just find that you can't get it completely clean, um, once it's leather hard, you can um, very, very gently scrape the, um, the surface. Um, this time it is wet because I'm going to be putting it underneath. Um, it's just, you, you just don't want to, um, you know, ha hold it over and it have uh, drips onto the, the surface. Okay, so what I do is, um, I brace it with my hand like so, and just kind of stick it under. And clean off all that excess. And just under again a little bit more. And then I flip it over so it's this way. And then lift. Okay, so now it is uh, lifted. I go in with my sponge, and again, not not dripping over top, but it's fine. It needs to be wet this way because, as you probably know, when you use a rib or a wooden knife on an edge like this, it's going to be quite a bit drier because it's going to have less slip. Okay, so this guy's wet. My hand is also wet, so I'm just going to bring the edge up like so. And just wring it out a bit. And just form that edge a little bit. My little ghost. This guy is from Garrity Tools. It's a limited edition rib. It makes really nice curved um, mugs, but also with his little upraised hands, you can use these little areas here to form a nice round rim. So I dip him again and then I just make sure that there's no excess water. And then I just put him here. And just make sure that it's not going to, that his little head isn't going to hit the, the transfer. And that just kind of cleans that up a bit. And then I use my sponge again. And again, like, there's some smudging, but you can clean that up after it's um, leather hard. And then to make the, this little part where the spoon sits. I just uh, wet my finger a little bit. Again, not super, super wet. And then I brace it with my index and thumb. And I just 
and run my finger along and there's the lip and just clean that little edge up a bit There you have it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I, uh, like I said, I have no real formal training other than the uh, the class, the the couple of classes that I took, uh, learning by mistake. <laughs> They're Potter's YouTube videos. And, and also uh, videos on Instagram. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, let me know. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And thank you so much for watching.